Following this, Oliver tried to calm Pete down and told him they are finished if he attacks them. Then Ophelia greeted Cyrus and she called him disgusting. He insulted her too, and Ophelia was furious. As a result, they began to fight each other, and they cast strong spells. Ophelia was giving birth and she summoned a huge demon. So two monsters were fighting, and Oliver said they should run away. But Cyrus blocked their path, and they couldn't escape. Suddenly, Nanao appeared. However, Cyrus' monster was defeated, and he launched a second spell. Nanao was ready to beat the enemies up and said they can run away if they want. But she decided to go all out in the fight, and she didn't care if she will die in the fight today. After that, Ophelia's monster managed to destroy Cyrus' bone snake. Then she rushed towards the enemies, but Oliver didn't let her to die in the fight. Suddenly a guy appeared, who stopped the fight and defeated both monsters. They both were shocked to see Alvin, and he told Oliver and his friends that he won't let them make more trouble. So Carlos warned Ophelia not to make a wrong move and said to Oliver with his friends, they are saved now. Alvin told them they should leave this place and go back in the depths of the labyrinth. After that, the president of Kimberley was happy to see them unharmed. Carlos said they didn't need to worry, and they showed them the way out of the labyrinth. Later Oliver was angry at Nanao, because he didn't like her death wish. Michelle calmed Oliver down and said they all needs to talk this out. Followed Nanao said, she lost any attachment to life. She asked herself all the time, if she is really alive at all, because her life should end in her last battle. In the last battle, she faced with a small group of 200 warriors against 50,000 samurais. Nanao managed to break through the enemy defenses, and she defeated many enemies with ease. Suddenly she was attacked, and Nanao dodged him and slayed him down. Nanao was surrounded by many samurais, and she asked for fight against the strongest warrior of Soma's clan. He was angry because Nanao cut his son down without even knowing who he was. After that, Soma wanted to revenge his son, but Nanao was saved by a sorcerer. Michelle's father showed up and understood that Nanao had enough talent to become a strong sorcerer. So she was invited to the Kimberly School, and since that day, she lost any attachment to life. This was the reasons why she tried to fight all out and didn't care about to die in a fight. Also, she said in the duel with Oliver, she felt happy. She understood that Oliver didn't want to fight until one of them die, but she felt sad after he pushed her away. Katie thought that she felt sad because Oliver turned her down. Nanao agreed and she realized that she maybe got feelings for Oliver. After that, Nanao said her style of fighting is about to killing at its core. Michelle replied, she needs to find a new way to live, and Kimberly is a great place to find the solution for her problems. Also, she said she can count on all her friends now, and everyone said they will support her to find a new way to live. Oliver said she needs to promise him that she won't try to get killed in a fight. Then she promised Oliver that she would never try to throw her life away again. Nanao asked him to teach her how to live a normal life, and he agreed. Following this, Michelle sensed that Oliver and Nanao were fated to be together. In the next morning, they were waiting for Nanao, and she was ready for class. Following this, Nanao walked next to Oliver and said she wants to look at him. So Guy and Pete teased Oliver and said they are a cute couple. Then Katie said she shouldn't press up against Oliver, and the other said Oliver got infinite riz and wished him good luck to get a threesome. In the class of Teacher Garland, one of the students asked if he can use a spellblade. Suddenly he explained the students about the different variety of spellblades that exists in the world. He said the techniques of the spellblades are secrets, and he can't tell them about his power. The students asked for a hint, but he said they should go back to work. Nanao was surprised to hear about an invincible sword technique, and Andrew appeared, who looked down on them. Michelle tried to stop him to bully Oliver and Nanao. So Andrew challenged Oliver to a duel, but Nanao sensed that he wanted to lose on purpose. Nanao said she don't want to see him lose unless he is truly beaten. Andrew was ashamed and he felt angry, but Garland said they should focus on the sword training. Later, Michelle said it's her fault for Andrew becoming an arrogant noble. The reasons was that they were constantly compared and he always feared losing his place. Suddenly, Pete appeared and said Katie ran off to save a troll. Katie tried to protect the troll and she was insulted by an older student. Darius got the job to kill the troll because he is a danger for all the students. Then Katie don't let him harm the troll, and he paralyzed Katie with a magic spell. Oliver and his friends stopped him, and they were ready to fight against him. Suddenly Vera showed up, and Teacher Garland appeared too. He said the troll will stay alive for now, until they figure out why the troll got out of control. After that, Vera said, if Katie needs help, she can always talk to her. They then went back to school, and Andrew sent Oliver and Nanao a letter challenging them to a duel. The next morning Katie tried to befriend with the troll, 
but Vera said the troll had been acting strange since the incident. Katie tried to convince him to eat something and said the food is delicious. Meanwhile, other students made fun of Katie, and Michelle was worried about Andrew's dual request. Oliver said the best solution is to accept the challenge. Later, in the classroom everyone were talking about Katie, who tried to befriend with a troll. Guy was angry, and Oliver tried to stop him so he didn't get into trouble. But the students didn't stop badmouthing Katie, and they became more and more provocative. Then, Katie appeared in the classroom, and she was glad that she wasn't late. After that, some of her classmates started to bully her. Katie was intimidated, and her friends got angry. Suddenly, Oliver attacked one of his classmates with a fire spell. Oliver was ready to beat them up and ask Guy if he wants to help him. As a result, Oliver and his friends started to punish them for insulting their friend Katie. Later, Michelle visited them in the detention room. Guy and Nanao were proud that they could teach many schoolmates a lesson. Michelle was surprised that Oliver was the one who started the fight. So Katie said sorry and knew it was her fault, but her friends said she didn't need to apologize. Then Michelle said that she personally agreed with them, but they made the situation worse. In the followed night, two students told Oliver and his friends to use the acutest spell on their swords. Oliver said they should be careful in the fight, and two older students guide them to the duel grounds. So they were walking for a while, and Michelle said, there are lots of places in the labyrinth for the duel. However, they arrived in the chosen place and the two older students opened the gate. After entering the gate, they discovered a coliseum for the duel. Then Oliver asked Michelle to protect the three of them, and she wished Oliver and Nanao good luck in the duel. Followed Andrew appeared with a friend and many monsters came out of the gates. They defeated the monsters with strong spells, and Oliver told Nanao that Kobold Hunt is a famous game played by mages. Oliver asked Andrew why he didn't want to duel with them. Andrew replied he can't any honor by defeating them. As a result, he decided to play Goblin Hunt. Oliver knew Nanao never seen a kobold. Suddenly a goblin run away, but a student attacked him. He treated the monster like garbage and Nanao was angry. The other students were amused and Nanao was disappointed with their attitude against magical beasts. However, she was angry and said that they are all a disgrace to society because they abuse weak beings. The other mages started to hate her and they threw at her bottles and garbage. Following this, she didn't want to play the game of Andrew. Andrew didn't let her leave the duel grounds and the others said they will beaten her up if she tried to leave. Meanwhile, another student was commanded to send out the next kobolds. Suddenly, the monster badly injured the student and everyone were confused. The monster was out of control and attacked the students. Oliver was shocked to see a Garuda and noted that Andrew knew nothing of any of this. Afterwards, they were fighting against the legendary monster, but he wiped them out with ease. The students couldn't manage to defeat him, and Oliver knew they are not strong enough to fight against a divine beast familiar. The door was closed and the Garuda didn't stop to hunt them. Andrew was afraid and he tried to escape, but Garuda was faster than him. In the last moment, Nanao protected him, and she decided to fight against the giant monster. As a result, she activated her innocent color and started to fight against him. Nanao was able to dodge his attacks, and Guy wanted to help her. Michelle stopped him, because he will only hold her back in the fight. Michelle trusted Oliver and Nanao, so she decided to protect the three of them. Then we see Nanao, and the monster was able to overwhelm her, but Oliver supported her. He managed to save her in the last moment and got the attention of the monster, but Oliver wasn't feared and he cast many spells and launched an attack. The monster dodged his attack and injured Oliver. Nanao didn't let her crush die and tried to win some time for Oliver. After that, he cast a heal spell to recover himself. Suddenly, Andrew asked if they are not afraid, and Oliver answered, he is scared too. But he can't let down Nanao, because she is a real warrior, and he didn't want to let her die. In addition, he said Nanao wanted to see him fight too. He attacked the monster and said he will make an opening for Nanao to finish the fight with a final blow. So they both combined their power and attacked the monster. Oliver used his chance and he paralyzed with a lightning spell the monster. Nanao began to launch the final attack, but Garuda recovered and Oliver was ready to sacrifice his life. In the last moment Andrew helped them in the fight, so Nanao used all her power and she went all out against the monster. As a result, she defeated Garuda and managed to save all students. Everyone were badly injured and Oliver thanked Andrew for his help. Also Nanao thanked him for saving them and Oliver tried to clam him down. Following he apologized for being a crybaby and asked Nanao how she can fight a more powerful foe without hesitation. Oliver cheered him up and he wanted to get along with Andrew. 
Nanao recognized him as a new comrade, and he was very happy with her words. After that, Andrew went back to the academy, and Michelle thanked him for helping them in the last moment.